Adding subtitles to your videos is a great way to increase your reach and keep your audience engaged. Did you know that 85% of Facebook videos are watched on mute and only two thirds of Snapchat videos are watched with the sound on? That's an entire third of all Snapchat content consumed on mute. So if you don't add subtitles to your videos, you're missing out on a lot of potential viewers. And that's why in this video, we're going to show you how to easily add subtitles to any video in just a few minutes. Hey everyone, my name is Alec and on this channel, we teach you anything and everything you need to know about video content creation. And in this specific video, I'm going to be showing you how to add subtitles to a video online. Now the tool we're going to be using to do this is an online video editor called Veed. Veed allows you to edit video, add pictures, add music, add easy music visualizers and a lot more. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Veed's automatic subtitle tool. Veed's automatic subtitle tool allows us to transcribe the audio of our video into text and it turns that text into subtitles with the correct timestamps. To get started, all you have to do is head over to Veed.io and create a new project. Once you've created a new project, what we're going to do next is upload our video. So here we're just going to click on upload the file and then we're going to browse our computer and select a video that we want to add subtitles to so i'm going to select this instagram story now obviously we can select any video you want any aspect ratio you want just select it and click open and as we can see it's now imported into veed's video editor and if we take a look we can now see it in our video editor and if i decide to press play hey instagram i hope you're all doing well i've just posted to my feed to so go and check out the post as you can see, this is an Instagram story that I want to add subtitles to. So for good practice, the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly name my project. I'm just gonna click here and type Instagram story just like so. Now, to begin adding subtitles to our video, all we have to do is click on the subtitle tab in the left toolbar. And then here, we're going to be selecting the auto transcribe tool. So we're gonna to click on this to automatically add subtitles to our video. Now you can go ahead and add subtitles manually or upload a subtitle file that you've already created. But again, we're creating subtitles from the video's audio. So we're gonna automatically generate them. So we're going to click on auto transcribe right here. So now we're prompted to select the language that we are talking in within our video. And in this video, we're speaking in English. But if you are speaking in French, Spanish, German, Chinese, you can go ahead and select the language that you are talking in right here in this drop down menu and then click on start. And then once you've clicked on start, Veed is gonna take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of your video, to automatically transcribe all of the audio from your video and turn that audio into subtitles. So as we can see now, it's just finished. And if we take a look, we can see the subtitles in three different places. First of all, we can see them in the left subtitle editor right here. Then we can see them in the timeline at the bottom of the screen. And then we can also see them on the video canvas. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go through and check all of our subtitles. Now to do this, we're just going to bring the playhead back to the beginning. And if I press play. Hey Instagram, I hope you're all doing well. I've just posted to my feed to so go and check out the post on my profile. And if you enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. Maybe leave a comment, let me know what you think of it. And if you really liked it, maybe share it with some friends. I appreciate it. So as you can see, we now have subtitles and straight from the beginning, we notice a few mistakes, but I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly fix these mistakes straight away. So as we can see here, the first subtitle, it says, hence the gram instead of hey Instagram. This is because in my video, I kind of slur the two words together and I talk very fast. So all I have to do is click on the subtitle that I want to change and I can edit it as if it was normal text anywhere else. So I'm just gonna type hey Instagram, just like so. So now, as you can see, I've got Hey Instagram. The next thing I want to change is the two following subtitles. I want to turn them into one subtitle because it says, I hope you're all doing and then well in another. However, we're just going to cut this right here, paste it at the end of this subtitle. I'm gonna make this a lowercase w. And then I'm going to copy this time right here, delete it, and then make this subtitle end at that subtitle's time, just like so. So if we take a look in the timeline, you can see it change. So now if I press play. Hey Instagram, I hope you're all doing well. I've just posted to my feed to so go and check out the post on my profile. And then there's one last mistake that I want to fix and that's just the feeds. Here I want to make it feed. So if I just quickly double click on this and then I just take the S off, I've just posted to my feed, so go check it out. And that is how to edit the subtitles text. I also want to show you that if you want, you can also edit the duration just by clicking and dragging instead of customizing the timestamps for each and every one. You can also quickly click and drag them around just like so. However, I'm gonna leave the timing for all my subtitles right now. Now, the next thing you may want to do is customize the style of your subtitles. And to do this, we're just gonna click on the style tab right here. 
And let's just say I want to change the font. I can change the font to Anton. And now all of my subtitles will adopt the style so I don't have to change each individual text one by one. I also want to mention that at the bottom, we also have a bunch of presets. And one of my favorites is this white text with the black drop shadow. And then we also have this yellow with the black outline, which helps it stand out a lot more. I also want to mention that you can just click and drag the subtitles on the screen around and place them anywhere you want. And then just quickly click and drag to resize just like so. And that is how to customize the style of your subtitles. Now, once you've finished adding the subtitles to your video, the next step is to download your video with the subtitles. Now, if you're looking to download the subtitles as a separate SRT file, so you can upload them as closed captions to a platform such as Facebook or YouTube, to do so, it's very simple. Here we can head into the options tab, and then right here, we have the download subtitles section. And here I can choose the format that I want to download them as. SRT format is the most common. It stands for sub subtitle. And then all I have to do is just click on the download button right here. And as you can see, we now have the file downloaded to our computer. Now, I also want to mention that I can quickly translate these. So for example, I can add a subtitle track and then Bead will automatically translate the text into another language. And this can be very useful, for example, when it comes to increasing your international audience on your YouTube channel. Let's say you want to reach a wider audience in France and in Spain, you can then begin adding French subtitles and Spanish subtitles to your videos. But because this is an Instagram story and we can't upload closed captions with an Instagram story, we want to burn these subtitles into the video. And to do this, it's very simple to do. Right here, once I'm happy with my subtitles and the way they look on my video, all I'm going to do is click on export in the top right, and then this export menu pops up right here. And as we can see, we want to make sure before we click export video, we have this burned subtitles toggled on. So right here, as you can see, if I hover over it, it says include the subtitles in the rendered video instead of a separate file. So if I have this toggled on, now if I click export, Veed is then going to render my video with the subtitles burnt in or hard coded into the actual MP4 file. So when I download it and then upload them to my Instagram story, those subtitles will be visible. And that is how to add subtitles to any video online using Veed. Now, I'm curious to know, once you've added the subtitles, are you going to be downloading them as a separate SRT file so you can add them as closed captions? Or are you burning your subtitles into the video? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm curious to find out. And that is the video for today. If you got some value from this video and you learned something, we would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, teaching you video content creation tips and tricks, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And with that being said, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.